everybody. So today we're going to learn how to use a scale bar to calculate magnification. So first question then, what is a scale bar? Well, let's say you have a piece of paper with a drawing, an image of a cell. So obviously cells um, are not this big really. Cells you need a microscope to see. So if you've got a drawing like this on your piece of paper, this drawing has obviously been magnified. So we can use a scale bar to calculate that magnification. So the scale bar is drawn somewhere else on the piece of paper and this is the scale bar and next to the scale bar it will say how long that scale bar is in real life. So this says that this scale bar, the actual size of it is 20 millimeters, sorry, 20 micrometers. Now obviously on this piece of paper this scale bar is much bigger than 20 micrometers. 20 micrometers is the actual size that this line would be if this image had not been magnified. So the scale bar is drawn to the same magnification as the cell. That means, let me take that one off for a minute, that means that if you were to take a ruler and you were to measure the length of the scale bar, that's 15 millimetres. That means that if you measure 15 millimetres anywhere on your image, anywhere on the cell, 15 millimetres on that cell was actually 20 micrometres. Let's say we have another piece of paper and this time the same cell has been drawn at a much higher magnification, so it's bigger. You still have your scale bar underneath and the scale bar is longer, oops, the scale bar is longer here than it is here because remember the scale bar is drawn to the same magnification as the rest of our image. So if this cell is bigger because it's drawn at a higher magnification then the scale bar is also bigger. But it's still saying that this distance here anywhere on our image is the actual length of that would be 20 micrometers. So again, we could take our ruler and we could measure the length of the scale bar. So on this image, it's uh, 30 millimeters. So that means that if you measured 30 millimeters anywhere on your cell, that 30 millimeter length, the actual size of it would be 20 micrometers. But we haven't actually worked out the magnification. We've just kind of got some understanding of what the scale bar is. So the next thing is how we use that scale bar to calculate the magnification. So again, here's our, um, here's our image with our scale bar. And we want to know what the magnification of this whole image is. To work out the magnification, we need to use our formula. And the formula tells us that the magnification is image size divided by actual size. Now the important thing here is we do not want to measure anything on our cell. The only thing we're measuring to work out our magnification is the scale bar. The reason for that is we need both the image size and the actual size to work out the magnification. But we don't actually know the actual size of our cell. Yes, we could get a ruler and we could measure the length of our cell here, but we don't know the actual size of it. But we do know the actual size of our scale bar because it's told, we're told it, we're told that it's 20 micrometers. So we already know the actual size of our scale bar. All we need to do is measure it and that will give us the image size. So again, I can use my ruler. So a bit like I did before, if I take my ruler and I measure the length, so we just, as we'd already seen, it's 30 millimetres, you'd obviously need to be as precise as possible. So if, um, if this ruler was more detailed, it would probably actually say about 31 millimetres. But we'll stick to 30 millimetres to make it simple. So we measure our scale bar, that gives us the image size or the image length. So we now know 
that the image size is 30 millimeters because we just measured the length of the scale bar. We also know, because it tells us here, that the actual size, the actual length, is 20 micrometers. So we know both of the things that we need to calculate the magnification. But we cannot just go 30 divided by 20 because we have different units. We have to make sure we have the same units on both sides. So what we'll do is we'll convert our 30 millimetres into micrometres. One millimetre is a thousand micrometres, so that means 30 millimetres, oops, that means that 30 millimetres would be 30,000 micrometres. So we've now got both of our lengths, both sizes, in the same units, which means if we do a division, we get 1,500. So what that means is the magnification of this is times 1,500. Remember, the way that we did this was by measuring the scale bar only. We did not measure anything on our cell. It would have been far, far less accurate if we'd started messing around with the cell. Now we know our magnification we can use that if we want to, to start working out actual sizes of our cell. Because we could now start measuring. So if, for example, we wanted to know the diameter of our cell, we could measure the length of the cell on the image. We know what the magnification is, which means we could work out the actual length. OK, so that's how you use a scale bar to work out the magnification. And once you have the magnification, you can use the magnification to work out the length of the cell in real life. Thank you.